Welcome back to Newswatch 10. I'm Jeremy Babin and we're talking sports. As the season comes to a close, several teams are still fighting for the top four seeds in Class 4A Big Region 7. And it was no different on Friday night. We'll tip off our recap with Osborne Northwest highlights and it was senior night. There's a highlight right there. Seniors honor Callie Thomas, Jasmine Thornton, all honored before the game. Lady Bruins undefeated in the region. Lady Cardinals undefeated on the season. One of that would change. Opening men in the third quarter, a tie game, not anymore. Adrian DeJesus puts the cards up 30 to 27. Now trying to extend that lead and off the steal. Christy Robinson, true to Quinesha McCurtney. She gets more bang for her bucket, 32-32 after the free throw. Still in the third quarter, still tied. Northwest goes up by three, courtesy of senior Callie Thomas, 39-36 Northwest. Coach Stockberger cheering on her girls on her 51st birthday. And in the closing seconds of the third, Jordy Cook says, Happy birthday, coach. Lady Bruins now on top 42 36 in the sellout crowd. They can feel it now. Coach Stockberger, she's even going to crack a smile of her own. Let's go to fourth quarter. She finished with 12 points. From the quarter, Jordy Cook has another for the Gipper. The Lady Bruins beat Osborne 53 48, keeping them atop the region and undefeated in region play. Coach Stockberger, Happy birthday. It's it's a great birthday present. I told them, you know, I'd, the next birthday present I hope is coming down down the way here in two or three weeks. But uh, this was a wonderful birthday present for them to, to be able to beat Osborne and uh, put Osborne out as far as being tied for the number one seed. To the boys, and it was senior night for them as well. T.J. Bryan honored point guard Bryce Martin and three-point man Tanner Reno. Caleb Tatum, and finally, Romeo Williams. The Northwest boys try to upset number two in the region, Osborne. Second quarter, Northwest up by one, and that is until Basil Jones goes all the way. Count it, and one coming at the line. 15-13 Osborne after the free throw. Same score when the Bruins run their favorite inbounds play. Tannerino, been there, done that. 16-15, Bruins on top. Bruins up 25-22 at the half. In the third quarter, Baker Chittister gets no respect and takes advantage of it. 28-24 Bruins. But the Cardinals, they fight back. Jones to the big Devontae Thornton on the break. Foul, bounce, and the bucket. He missed the free throw, though, so it was 31-30 Northwest. In the fourth quarter, Bruins up by three. Tannerino, who scored a career-high 28 points, puts Northwest up 47-41, and they would hang on to win 63-53. Coach Richards talks about the timely region win. This region, every night you're pushing against the log. If you don't win, you slide down the scale a little bit in the standing. So I'm just really proud to come out on senior night, take care of business, and uh, I, felt, I felt like they would. These the kids work hard, and they get after it, so I'm pretty proud of them. Well, the Dalton boys basketball team might be getting hot at the right time. Heading into Friday night's region game against Paulding County, the Catamounts are winners of a season-high three straight games. But let's start off with the girls first. Kids wrestling in the stands. Only good play, though. 342 to go in the third quarter. Dalton's Kay Houston driving all by herself. Two of her 11 on the night. 52-16 Dalton. Still in the third, Chandler McKinney is going to stretch the lead to 41 with this three ball, 59-18. In the fourth quarter now, watch this nice move by Amanda Rector. The drive, the floater, 63-18, Big Red Rector would finish with 10 points. Now with 3.36 to go in the game, Taylor Scott open for three, counted. Dalton, they go on and win 68-29, to and it's time for the boys. And we'll pick this one up with 3.34 to go in the first quarter. Off a of Shaquan Moore miss, Kelly Phillips going to go up strong, not going to get it to go, but Cass Cole is there for the putback, two of his 26. 12-7 Paulding, and now Big Red on the run. Mauro Guzman takes it all the way, cuts the Paulding lead to three points. Now in the second quarter, Shaquan Moore, the drive from the baseline, the leaner makes it a 21-18 Paulding County lead. Catamounts getting a bit defensive here, though. Kelly Phillips with a steal, and then a long outlet pass to David White. Big Red, they go up 22-21 in Dalton. They go on to win 75-55. Well, tied with a 6-3 region record, either Southeast or Ringgold would head into the sub-region tournament with a winning streak as both teams met Friday for the last time this regular season. And it was senior night for them as well. All the seniors honored before the game. Ringgold up three in the fourth quarter. 
and it's Brianna Sosby going to change that with this baseline knockdown, 35-34 Ringgold. Southeast playing a little bit defense here. Daniel Pearson to steal all the way for the finish, 36-35 Southeast. More Southeast, more Daniel Pearson. She is going to steal one again and almost an instant replay. Makes it a five-point Southeast lead with 30 seconds to go in the game. Ringgold's not giving up, however. Allie Fairchild going to go up strong. Count it and one coming 41-37 Southeast and the Lady Raiders win 41-40. Bring on the boys. And we'll pick this one up with 6.25 to go in the first quarter. Watch Ringgold's Martez Eastland. A pretty impressive pass to Corey Skidmore. 2-0 Ringgold. Here comes Southeast now. Damon O'Neill. He had 12 points. Here's two of them. The jump hook makes it a 5-4 Ringgold game. Southeast Cody Gibson going to find himself wide open for three. This would make it a 7-5 Raiders lead. And Southeast would go on to win 57-51. A lot of hoops talk about. The Southeast fans have a lot to be happy about, it looks there, like. There is, and it's the end of the season, so every game is important now, and now we're getting into the playoffs, so it should be exciting. That will be exciting. Thanks so much, JB. You got it. And we're also excited about the weather forecast. Cedric Haynes is in the Weather Center to, tell, to give us our last uh, weather forecast. Cedric? All right, well, you know what? I am definitely excited about this great weather as well. You know why? Because, you know, the weatherman gets a lot of friends when